anti derivative of 1 minus x over x okay there is no quotient rule and by the way we cannot find the anti derivative term by term like anti derivative of 1 minus anti derivative of x over anti derivative of x that would produce this but that's not true we cannot go term by term as a fraction we need to get rid of this fraction how I would separate into two fractions 1 over x minus x over x which is 1 now we got two terms and we know that anti derivative of 1 over x is natural log of x because the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x minus sign anti derivative of 1 is just x and plus c is always there so a in 15 the derivative of f f prime is 2x and f at 0 is 2 now we need to find f1 so first we need to find the function fx itself then we can evaluate fx at x equals 1 so derivative is given 2x to recover the function we integrate both sides if we integrate then we get fx back so anti derivative of 2x is x squared because derivative of x squared is 2x and plus c is always there now we cannot uh, find f1 at because we don't know the value of c but look at this f at 0 is 2 it's given with the help of this we we can find value of c so f at x value 0 f is 2 when x is 0 so using f0 equals 2 so f is 2 this f is 2 when x is 0 so 0 is square is 0 plus c this is just 0 so c equals 2 so the function is in fact x is square plus so we found c equals 2 and now we plug this back here so x is square plus 2 and finally f at 1 means replace x by 1 so 1 is squared 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 is 3 okay number 16 so a to b of this function is 2 b to c of that same function this definite integral is 1 so pretty much we have a curve I don't know what is the f but it's like something like this a to b from a to b okay, this is let's say the function a to b so this area is 2 okay this is given 2 and from b to c that's 1 so let's say c is here and this area from b to c b to c this is 1 now we need to find the value of this expression so what is that a to c fx so let me write over here a to c means all the way from a to c which is 2 plus 1 3 so this integral this definite integral is 3 minus b to a that's the opposite look we are going from a to b and b to c b to a means negative of a to b so b to a fx means negative of a to b and a to b is 2 so b to a will be negative 2 this negative is here this minus sign is there negative 2 and 3 minus negative 2 is 3 plus 2 which is 5 so the answer is 5 and finally number 17 we have g function now we need to find the derivative of this integral that's the fundamental theorem of calculus then what happens is we just replace this variable t by this upper limit 3x the, the lower limit is 2 that's good we don't have to work we don't have to worry about the lower limit when we find the derivative due to this constant it's gonna be 0 so replace t by 3x but and then by chain rule uh, derivative of 3x is 3 so 3 times this t replaced by 3x so 3 so there's a 3 so this could be the answer not gonna be 9 and there is no second part because this so this is not going to be the case 
Now we replace t by 3x. So 1 plus 3x plus 3x quantity squared. 3x quantity squared is 9x squared. Not 3x squared. So it should be 3x squared. So this is the answer.